Hi guys, do you want to turn your ideas into stunning images in just a matter of seconds? Then let me show you how. First, think of an idea. Let's say Spider-Man in front of Taj Mahal. Magic. Now let's say Gorilla cooking pancakes. Magic. Well anyways, I'm not the real magician, but my journey is. You heard it right. You can turn your idea into stunning images with just a few lines of text. You don't need to be an artist or a tech expert to create it. So why wait? Let's start creating jaw-dropping images in just mere seconds. And as a little bonus, I will be sharing an amazing tool that will make your work a whole lot easier. So make sure to stick around until the end of the video. So to create a AI image, just click the link below this video and it will take you to midjourney.com. So to start using Midjourney, click join the beta and it will take you to Discord. Now Discord is a popular chat application like WhatsApp which helps us access Midjourney. To generate our AI images, we must have an account on Discord. If you already have an account, you can just log in here. Or if you want to create an account, enter your name here, click continue, fill up these details, click claim account and your account will be created. And a confirmation email will be sent to your email address. So just go to your inbox, verify your email, click continue to Discord. And now by clicking here, it will take us to the Midjourney channel. So this is the place where we can generate our AI images. As you can see, there are too many things happening here. But do not panic, it's a public channel where thousands of people like us come together to generate their images. Over a year, Midjourney has updated the versions and with each version, the image gets steadily improved. However, we will use the version 4 today as it's too easy to get high quality images with simple tips. So let's get started. To create our first image, just head on to any newbie room here and you can start creating your image. Now just imagine what you want to create and then type slash imagine and press space. Now enter the idea that you would like to create as an image. I'm going to type something like a robot exploring an abandoned city. And once you've described it, press enter. As this is the first time we are trying to generate an AI image, we need to accept the terms of service here. So let's wait for our image to be generated. As you know, Midjourney is busy all the time. Let me just scroll down and find my generated image. Yeah, here it is. Midjourney will always provide four different images you can choose from. This image is almost like the way I imagined. But as you can see, there are a lot of interruptions while generating our image. This is because it's a public channel and many people are generating the images at once. To avoid this and to get our images in one single place, we can create our very own Midjourney server. To do that, click on this plus symbol and click create my own. You can skip these questions. Now give a name for your server and click create. Now our server is created. Next, we need to connect the Midjourney to this server to generate our images. So let's go back to Midjourney channel. Here, click on the Midjourney icon and click add to server. Now select the server that you created and click continue. Finally, click authorize. In this way, we can connect Midjourney to our server. Let's go back to the server and we can start generating our images without any interruptions. Now here, I'm going to type slash imagine and enter the image description here. This time, I'm going to type a dinosaur dressed in a suit, add a comma here and type patiently waiting at a bus stop. I'm adding this comma here because Midjourney responds best if you separate long details with commas. You can also specify extra features to the image like the quality you want. Let's say you want an image quality of 4K. You can simply do that by typing 4K. Not only this, but you can also change the aspect ratio which is the size of the image. By default, Midjourney generates us a 1 is to 1 image. To change the aspect ratio, we can type hyphen hyphen AR and enter the aspect ratio we want. I'm going to enter 16 is to 9 and once you've added that, press enter to generate your image. And as you can see, we have got pretty good images with the given features. Now, if you don't like these images, you can regenerate it by clicking here. Now, Midjourney will give us a new set of images every time we generate. Below these generated images, you'll see a section of U and V buttons labeled from 1 to 4. These numbers correspond to the four images that Midjourney generated. Let's say out of these four generated images, you like a particular image. And if you want to see some more variations of it, you can use this V option. Now I like the second image and I want to create more variations of it. So I'm going to select V2 and 
Voila! A new set of images have been generated with slight variations. Well, I like this third image of all. Now to upscale this, hit the U button and it upscaled it instantly. So what is happening here is, when you hit the upscale button, Midjourney will generate a larger version of the selected image by adding more details to it. Now to save this image, open the picture in the browser, right click on the image, select save image as and save it. And your image is downloaded to your computer. So this is how you can generate your AI images. Now that we have played around and know how to use Midjourney, next let's move on to the exciting part which is to make your own portrait into an AI avatar like this. So to create it, all you need to do is to upload the image to the server. I'm going to drag and drop my image here. Then press enter and the image will be uploaded to our server. Now we need to copy this image link. To do that, open the image, right click and copy the image link. And now that we've copied the image link, we can easily convert this portrait into an AI avatar. So let's do that. Let's add our prompt which is slash imagine and paste the image link here. I'm also going to add some more detail to the image because the more you specify, the greater the output will be. So I'm looking for my AI avatar to be in a cyberpunk handsome boy with a detailed face and some neon lights in the image and let's press enter. Now let's wait for the image. Okay, Midjourney has managed to create my avatar but it could have been better. Well though this image looks pretty good, I want to reduce the pink shade and give it a subtle look. We can do that easily by adding a word weight to our prompt. Adding weights to prompts is like telling Midjourney which prompt elements are important to you and what you don't want to see in an image. This allows us to fine tune our prompts and generate images that are more closely to what we have in mind. At times, we add many descriptions to our images like these. But we would like to prioritize certain words while generating the image. Let's see how we can do that. In my case, I want to enhance the blue shade more and have no pink on the image. To do that, let's copy the same prompt, type slash imagine, press space and paste the copied prompt here. Now as I told you, I want blue shade more than the pink. I'm going to enter both blue and pink here. Now to add weight to these words, we simply need to enter a double colon like this and give a number. So the default number for any word is 1. But well, these numeric values doesn't matter. All that matters is weights that you have added which must be relative to each other. That is, as I want the blue shade to be more, I'm going to enter 2 here. And I want the pink shade to be less. I'm going to enter a negative number which is minus 2 here. Also, I'm going to give weight to detailed face as I want this to be more priority too. So I'm going to give it 2 here and well, mm, this is how you can add weight to your words and give priority to your prompt. Let's wait for our image to generate. Wow, this image looks amazing and I'm pretty much impressed with how it is. As expected, this image has given more priority to blue and the detailed face and there's no pink. In this way, you can customize your generated images as you like. Okay, as I promised at the beginning of the video, I'll introduce you to an amazing tool and it's called Noonshoot.com. Okay, why this tool? Noonshoot will help us create stunning mid-journey prompts in just a few minutes. So simply click the link in the description below and it will take you to the Noonshoot website. Once you're here, enter your idea in this prompt box and you can adjust the weight of the prompt by just sliding this bar to your desired level. You can also enhance your image using these options. Say, if you want to add style to this image, you can click on the style option and you will see a list of styles that you can select from. I'm going to select realistic and click continue. You can also use different options from here. For now, I'm going to add lighting and here I'm going to select moonlight. You can also adjust the weight for this particular prompt here. Once done, click continue. In the same way, you can customize your prompt as you want. Once after customizing, here you'll get a ready-made prompt generated for you. Simply copy this, paste it on the Midjourney server, so let's press enter and there you have it guys. That's how easy it is to create prompts and use them to generate your desired images with Noonshoot.com. Also, Midjourney has come up with yet another updated version this March. Version 5 generates images of higher resolution and quality than the current version and it has some crazy updates too. So if you're interested to see Midjourney 5 in action, feel free to watch this video.
But wait, Mid Journey is not entirely free. To make best use of this tool, you need to subscribe to any of their plans. To know more, simply enter slash subscribe and check out their plans here. So that's it guys, I have created my AI images. Now it's your turn to turn your ideas into stunning AI images with Mid Journey. Meet you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.